Hey y'all, what's going on, babies? Just want to come through and do a recap of the other day um, when I was talking about work-life balance. Let's talk about it. So, the other day, if y'all don't know, if you didn't see the video, let me just go ahead and tell you what happened. Um, Wednesday, I was off, I think. And I looked at my schedule on Thursday. No, no. I looked at my schedule, whatever it was, it was changed within the week. Okay. So I feel like that's very unprofessional. And I feel as though it's not a good way to have a great work-life balance for yourself a company feels as though they can just change your schedule just because of the needs of the business but doesn't think about okay um i have to be able to plan my my life because i you pay me for the time that i'm giving you in your building not for my lifeline hence the reason why people quit and turnovers um, rates are very high in companies right now because of this shit. And you're not going to do that to me. So it was changed from, it was on this Saturday, I was supposed to work until 1 p.m. It was changed where I work until 9.30 p.m. And I had already made plans for that day. I had an event set up, me and my honey, and my uh, we just spending time, you know, work-life balance. So I went in on Friday and the, the manager, the schedule, scheduling manager was not there. So I talked to another manager. It is what it is. Y'all all can get it done. Let's get this done. So I talked to her and I let her know my schedule was changed last minute. I'm not able to work that, um, work that schedule. I need for it to be retracted back to what it was. Also on Thursday, coming up Thursday, um, the 21st, I think, it was also changed. I was supposed to get off at 1.30 p.m. I did a doctor's appointment. It's within the week I need for that to be retracted and changed back because I have to, I made plans like by the schedule. That's what a fucking schedule is for you to schedule your life. So, hopefully, it was put back. Now, me being um everybody talks to me i don't know why but everybody was saying oh he does that all the time and in my mind i'm thinking i'm not fighting for the cause i'm fighting for me uh y'all let him do that if you want to but i'm speaking for vasori not for nobody else so i pull her to the side and i let her know i that day i said hey i'm pulling you to the side because um it seems like he does that often with other people but for me a those two days I need for them to be retracted back to what they were. And another thing, if my schedule is posted within that week, hell, within two weeks, please do not change it. Cause I need to be able to, I need to be able to like schedule my life, schedule my life, work life balance. I don't. And then the thing y'all listen I tell people all the time, they be griping and complaining. You're not a tree. You're not rooted in here. You can move. If you don't like it, because I'm going to state what I need to state. And if it doesn't change, then I'm leaving. But see, they, they kind of like, you know, because I'm straightforward. I'm a straight shooter. This is what it's going to be. Yada, yada. Change my shit back, period. All right, guys. This is the recap on it. Hopeless. So I worked the other day and she came up to me and she was given a message to give to me that um, remind me when I was hired, I said that I can work, I have any availability. And I'm sitting up there looking at her like she felt very, I could tell she was very uncomfortable giving me that message. And I said, okay, I listened it, listened to her and let her finish this when you done. I said, well, can you give this message to whoever gave you that message to give to me? 
let them know yes i am available you know i'm gonna have an open availability but don't play word semantics with me when my schedule posts within a, uh, at least within two weeks a schedule is in place for a reason you post a schedule and then you go back within the week that I work that, that said schedule and you change it and you think that those words semantics work on this 45 year old. It does not. I let her know to let him know that we're not going to play word games. You're not going to play with my life line. You're not going to play with my schedule and you're not going to play with me. I'm going to let you know it's okay. I'm open to anything all day, but within that two week period do not change my motherfucking schedule to accommodate this job looking like that that's how i'm looking at her she said well i let them know thank you and y'all to the truth be told i just started this job but i'm letting you know from gates if if you let me go that's cool baby universe huh what spirit led and universe fed but you got to tell people what you want you pay me for my time not for my lifeline i got a life just like you do i need to be able to plan my life around this job not this job playing my life for me y'all hear what i said stop letting them do that stop letting them do that just like when you got pto you got paid time off and you put it in and it's denied? No, you can't tell me when I'm going to take it, though. That's not, that's not, that. no, that's not how that works. Y'all stop stepping on y'all own tongues. Stop, stop it. Speak what ye wants into this world. If it makes sense. And that makes sense to me, not to allow these fucking jobs to just suck all your life out of you. That is not what a job is for. A job is for being able to pay your bills, car payments, light bills, house payments, rent, entertainment, insurance. You got that? It's an energy. Everything is an energy. But when your energy is depleted from that one source, that's a problem. And I don't got time for problems. So you either want me here because I see that the turnaround at this job is already bad. So you need me here. But I'm going to need for you to allow me to stay sane and energized in order to come in here and do my best. And you changing anybody's schedule within the, a week or two before they work it, that's not going to work with me. Mm-mm not with me and just like i'm sitting on my porch right now your girl took a mental day i have class in the morning i got shit going on and y'all like no you pay me to be here i didn't say i'm uh, i'm gonna be here every 24 hours of my life that's not gonna work uh-uh not now y'all not now and that came from me being on a job for 15 years straight because I, I thought I had, well, I felt like I had to because I had kids. I'm an empty nester. You, you find me if you want to. It's all right. I'm going right to Amazon Prime. I'm going to get a check. I got a whole LLC and a whole motherfucking husband. Let me be here. Y'all hear that wind? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Stop doing that, y'all. Stop allowing these jobs to control every aspect of your life. Not every aspect. They call me, matter of fact, let me, let me do this and I'm going to land a plane. They called me the other day and asked me, did I want to work? Um, I think it was Wednesday on my day off. No, I don't. 
See, that's the thing too. I don't chase money. I go get the money, but I don't chase it. Where I just, cause when she, if you chase something, you ain't gonna never catch it. I go in my regular time. That's all I got. All my extra time goes to visionsbiblesword.com, my LLC, my business. Mm -hmm. Chasing money. Fuck that. <laughs> mm -mm. Guys, stay blessed. Stay woke. I love y'all. Bye.